Hey guys, we are here. We just finished up with some Darksiders Genesis, which is what I believe to have been Darksiders 3, because I haven't really seen any trailers or anything like that, but everything about it is very different <laughs> than what I was expecting. Yeah, it's not at all what I expected. I've only played the first one, but I've seen the second one, which is much in the vein of the first, which was like a Zelda game almost, more than anything. Yeah, yeah. It, it had like sort of a God of War-ish sort of combat, but Zelda environmental puzzles. This is a top-down game. It reminded me a lot of... Uh, Laura Croft, Guardian of Light, uh, which is like a sort of isometric Diablo-ish perspective. Has a lot of environmental puzzles. This had platforming as well. You play as War and, war and Strife were the two characters that you play as, whereas one is a, um, a, a big sword-wielding character, and the other one has dual-wielding pistols, as well as a little bit of melee options as well. I played the uh, Laura Croft game, uh, Temple, Temple of uh, what, Guardian of Light and Temple of Osiris. It did play very much like them, I thought it was pretty good. I had trouble though with like some of the platform mechanics of like going around and jumping, yeah. um, which was probably my biggest complaint about it. I had a couple issues with that. Sometimes like the foreground got in the way uh, a few times as well. You know, I'm not sure how far away it is from release necessarily, but I had a lot of fun with it. And especially if it's two players co-op, then I really want to check it out. Yeah, and the, the gameplay that we had, there was uh, uh, a single-player storyline going through. Uh, we did a dungeon and a boss in that you could switch in between between War and Strife. So with that, we're hoping that maybe you can also have a little bit of co-op options where you'll be able to play through uh, together as those characters. But I have to say, I, I wouldn't have been interested if it had been like the other ones, but now that it's like this, I'm interested. It, it definitely caught me off guard. I'm hoping uh, maybe there's a little bit of polish with uh, the platforming mechanics, um, mainly the gliding and stuff. I would find myself going the opposite direction a lot, falling to my death, and then respawning. I probably spent a good five minutes on a spot that I probably shouldn't have spent five minutes on. But besides that, I thought it was pretty good. I like the combat mechanics. Uh, I enjoyed the boss battles. Uh, one of the boss battles we had kept summoning like extra items and stuff like that, that kind of we're like, well, I can focus on the boss, so I can focus on this. So I'm hoping that there's a lot of fun and interesting boss mechanics, especially in a multiplayer aspect. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want to check out more stuff for E3, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye on the channel.